Welcome back here with us on Overdrive. Now, there's a new electric MPV in town and that is not going to be for private use. BYD Auto is the world's second largest EV auto manufacturer after Tesla and they have brought down the E6 MPV to India. Now, the E6 MPV is something that high-end fleet operators as well as corporates might consider in place of the Kia Carnival as well as the Toyota Innova Crista. Here's more about it. Out of the steady stream of new car launches that we've seen in the past few months, one of the more unexpected ones has been of the BYD E6. Now, it's surprising how much attention this car has grabbed, especially considering this electric MPV is only on sale in the B2B market. Anyway, so we're going to drive it now to see if the BYD E6 might become a regular occurrence on your airport trips or your hotel runs from now onwards. First founded in 1995, BYD began life as a battery maker in its Chinese home market. Growing rapidly from here, the company then put its expertise in rechargeable batteries to use in the auto sector by entering this segment in 2003. The company has had significant interest in the CV segment globally, but has seen immense success most recently as an EV maker. BYD Auto is in fact currently the world's second largest EV maker after Tesla, having already sold a million EVs worldwide. While the design may not be very sophisticated, this electric MPV still does grab some eyeballs with its aggressive fascia and sloping roofline. The punch central panel and the large swept back headlamps are some of the most striking details, as are the deep set triangular bumper elements. But we would have liked to have seen maybe nicer alloy wheels and some better quality for the paint. Now there aren't too many rich materials or design flourishes on the inside of the BYD E6. But it must be said that this electric MPV feels generally well put together. And there are substantial feeling switch gear and nice materials on the touch points. For example here on the door handles as well as this general area with the gloss black. We would have liked the plastics to have been of a slightly higher grade given the price point, but otherwise there's really not much to complain about here. The features list is fairly substantial, but again with less focus on the driver than you might expect from a car aimed at private buyers. That said, with driver comfort playing a big part in boosting turnaround times in this segment, you get height adjustable front seats and a tilt and telescopic adjustment for the steering wheel. There's no cruise control, but you do get a large 10.1 inch touchscreen that can be rotated from a portrait to a landscape orientation. There's no Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This unit is essentially a tab that also controls the car's functions. But you can access the internet and download apps from the Play Store like YouTube, Maps and Spotify. There's even a video playback function among other things. The system is high on functionality but we would have liked a brighter display and more intuitive fonts and menus. Other feature highlights are the single zone climate control, LED interior lighting and control MID flanked by some clean dials. But owners and those being driven around in the E6 will be more interested in how the second row feels like. And here while you do sort of climb into the cabin and are sat in a bit of a knees up position given that the battery is underneath the floor here, you will notice that the seats themselves are large and comfortable, very supportive and you have these big large windows so the sense of space on offer here is immense. We would have liked to have seen maybe some blower controls here and a center armrest, but other than that, the second row is a great place to be in in the BYD E6. The E6 uses BYD's proprietary blade battery technology, which seems to give it a distinct edge over most EVs we've driven so far. The BYD employs a lithium ion phosphate battery a variation of lithium-ion technology that has some limitations in terms of energy density and operational voltages, but works well for commuter vehicles such as this one, with its longevity and stable performance. Aside from the regular AC and DC charging, another unique option, again aimed at fleet buyers, is a 40 kW AC fast charger which can be installed in parking locations. This unit charges the E6 in 2 hours, helping turnaround times. BYD says operators can expect running costs to hover around Rs 1.69 per kilometer, depending on electricity costs. The 95 PS and 180 Nm outputs 
may seem underwhelming for a car of this size. But the crisp EV talk delivery and the intuitive software tuning allow the E6 to not feel outgunned in city traffic. The instant talk allows the MPV to move with the flow of traffic without much hesitation, although performance does peter off in outright acceleration or a speeds build. Having said that, the E6 does hold on to steady highway speeds well, without charge levels plummeting, something we were pleasantly surprised by. And if our drive today is anything to go by, the BYD E6 will be on your radar given how economical it is. The claimed 415 to 520 km range we think is quite easily achievable in the real world. For example, we've driven it for about 68.2 km so far and only lost about 15% of the range, which makes us think that a real world range of about 4 60 to 470 kilometers is easily achievable and we haven't done anything that we wouldn't do in an IC car today with it. The large windows and well-tuned steering make the BYD E6 quite easy to drive. The steering is light at low speeds but then progressively weighs up enough to not be alarming as speeds rise. The E6 uses a sophisticated multi-link rear suspension which means that passengers are kept comfortable over most road surfaces. The typically EV suspension tuning does add some firmness, which is most apparent over sharp speed breakers or broken patches, but much of this is kept away from occupants. The low battery placement also means that body movements are well controlled and predictable. The BYD E6 is an interesting addition to the Indian automotive landscape, which seems to bring us in closer touch with the rapid progress EV tech is making globally. The E6 is being assembled from semi-knockdown kits which leads to a significantly high price starting at Rs 29.15 lakh. The E6 is only eligible for state subsidies consequently. The limited network spread over 8 cities is an obstacle, but for fleet owners and corporate buyers who can make a business case with this pricing, the E6 is a competent package that should significantly reduce costs and increase margins over conventionally priced rivals. That's it then from us on this week's edition of Overdrive. But remember, you can stay in touch with the team through Facebook, Twitter, as well as YouTube. And you can follow our latest updates on Instagram. We'll see you next week. Until then, goodbye. Many thanks for watching.